uh, Ingo Vugetzer, who is the Vice President of Cabin Marketing for Airbus, and we are hanging out in the A330 um, Airspace Cabin mock-up. Uh, Ingo, why don't you tell me a little bit about what's going on with the airspace program in the A380 and the single aisle airspace program and how you're uh, getting ready to really start rolling these out into service. Yeah, we are quite um, curious about the ramp up of the airspace. Um, um, this A330 NEO airspace will be introduced now in um, mid-2018, so quite soon from now with TIP first launch customer. And um, as you see here around us, um, um, that's a great environment, having all that features, a bigger bin up here, uh, a new side wall uh, with a new window uh, vessels. Um, we have a whole lighting system from the 350, so it's like a twin from the 350. And um, we'll add then to the 160, 350 aspace cabins that are already flying. Um, followed shortly, 2020, with the single line. And um, actually, the single eye mock up, which is next to us, you know, it's so busy uh, because everybody wants to see it. Mm -hmm. As um, we are transferring um, the wide body experience that we created also now into single eye. So, the lighting feature, the welcome feature in the door one area, um, um, the new windows, um, the new lavatory with all the hygiene um, and also comfort feature that we all transfer from wide body will create a complete new experience for passengers. Um, especially, and this is the, the USP, is um, the XL bin, uh, that is about 60% more bags and each of those 40% bigger. And this is a, um, a big topic um, that helps everybody, um, the passenger arriving in a relaxed way, but also the crew, because it's um, easy to get things stored and they don't have to push and close uh, a bin because it's a simple fixed solution. Yeah, so for passengers flying uh, short haul on a lot of some of the older uh, single aisle aircraft, uh, you may get your bag ticketed at the end of the line and thrown into the hold and now you have to wait at the luggage belt and this will be a thing of the past. Everybody will have space for a, a wheelie bag plus their own personal smaller carry-on bag. Exactly, yeah. and this you can completely avoid because you have one big bag available for every passenger and um, so that is more than enough. Yeah, that, works. that alone, but then you have all the other great features like the better air, better lighting, uh, larger uh, windows and more feeling of space, right? Exactly. All that is um, <clears throat> contributing um, to the, I would say, wide body experience that we create. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, you've talked about an innovation that is uh, going to be available to be seen on the single aisle mock up, and that is the butterfly seat. Can you tell me a little bit about who you worked on with that and how this innovation came up through the Airbus Biz Lab? Exactly, so that was once um, Crystal Cabin Award winner, and um, we took um, that student, because it was in the university category, and um, really developed now a, a robust um, industrial seat um, that we um, discussed um, and got a lot of feedback from several airlines. And um, we are now trying to get um, an airlines in, in the detail, uh, one airline or two, in detailed development phase to really then launch um, that seat that provides a flexibility between premium economy class seating, that's four abreast, mm -hmm. and business class seating, which is two abreast. So full flat for an evening flight or a night flight that you can sell that seat uh, because passengers want to sleep, you know, but on the next morning, the same aircraft can offer then four abreast configuration that you can work um, in a relaxed way. Yeah. And the aircraft, uh, the airline can do this very easily. Exactly, it's just folding the backrest up and down just and create it. a flat surface to, to sleep or convert it into two um, premium economy class seats. And this kind of flexibility just does not exist in the industry at this time? No. no. <laughs> very simple and very flexible, serves both airline needs and, and passenger needs. Mm -hmm. And this is especially important as we see um, the long range operation of um, 320 321 um, um, as, as a big trend that we want to support with really comfortable life with, uh, products in the premium class. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then finally, um, we looked at a, a really incredible sort of digital screen at the back of the booth there, um, and we talked about something. This is a concept that is still sort of in development, but can you tell me a little bit more about that? Right, um, so we have created the DNA for airspace. Um, we are happy with that in a moment, but we continuously drive innovation for each of those elements to stay at the top. And one is the welcome area, 
uh, where we um, now use OLED screens, very crisp, sharp um, quality, fantastic, very lightweight, very thin, um, I think a big panel, only two kilos, that we integrate in the monuments in terms of welcome panel, but um, that could be also mood board um, uh, for the destination you're flying to, um, that could be about information, that could be also about revenue generation, that's a completely digital flexibility that you can also use on the ceilings. Um, so it will create a complete new um, environment and opportunities for that. Very exciting. Absolutely. Yeah, and this also helps us. I think we, we started well. I think 160 aircraft flying this airspace today and, and ramping up within five years to about 2,000 aircraft with airspace. And this will, of course, continue, I think, um, that exciting journey. Well, it sounds like that will keep you busy. Uh, so thank you so much for sharing a little bit of your time with us today, Ingo. My pleasure. Thank you very much.